Today at Gadget Class, I'm doing another Zebra thermal printer setup video. This one here is going to be the GX420D, the wireless version. And uh, after getting my hands on this and setting it up, uh, I am pretty impressed with uh, the Zebra uh, driver software and how well the wireless function works once you set it up. Uh, most wireless uh, printer drivers are iffy at best, and uh, you get some issues there even with my brother and HP drivers unless you download their big bloated wear software um, wireless is a kind of a, a hit or miss so I am pretty impressed with the wireless function on the zebra printers and I would recommend it if you want to get one of these wireless ones uh, go ahead and check the link down in the video description below I'll put a direct link to uh, some on eBay uh, eBay is pretty much the best place to get a good deal on these so we're gonna show you how to set up the Wi-Fi on this printer and uh, first thing you want to do is go to the Zebra website, download their Z Designer software that'll configure any Zebra label printer you have. Um, once you do that, go ahead and set up your USB uh, dri driver. You do want to go ahead and plug it in via USB and get it all working via USB. Once you have that set up, um, I'm not going to get into that in this video. If you want me to make a video on that, uh, put a comment down below and I might get around to making one, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the Z Designer software is pretty easy. So we have it connected via USB. We are good to go. We can even print a, a test label there. Uh, USB is all set up and good to go. So let's set up the wireless. You're going to go to configure printer connectivity, go to wireless, click next. And this is important right here. Most people are probably going to select DHCP. That's where your router automatically assigns an address to your printer. Um, the only issue there is if your uh, router gets reset or um, the lease time expires, you might end up with a new uh, IP address sent to the printer and uh, all of a sudden your Z Designer software might not work. Um, so I always like to set a static IP for my printers. And to figure out how to do this, let's right click on your Wi-Fi settings here, go to Open Network and Sharing Center, click on Change Adapter Settings, and then double click on your Wi-Fi there and click Details. Here we see that our IPv4 default gateway is 192.168.1.1. That is the network address of our router. And this tells us that we need to be in the 192.168.1 range of IP addresses. So that's all we need to know there. So we're going to go ahead and set this to a static IP. 192.168.1. And the last three numbers can be anything up to 255. I'm going to set mine to 240. I like to select something in the last half of the range uh, because most routers will assign the first half of the range. So I'm going to select 240 there. Um, so that will hard set the printer to 192.168.240. Subnet mask is always going to be 255.255.255.0. Unless you know uh, what you're doing, don't change that to anything else. 192.168.1.1. Remember, that's the same gateway address we saw in the detail page earlier. That's the address of our router. We're going to click Next. And here you want to set the name of your network. Uh, this will be the SSID or what you see when you try to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Mine is utopia dash n and uh, security mode, uh, unless you have a really old router, you're going to want to select uh, WPA and WPA2 PSK. Um, if you have an older router, you're going to select either WEP40 or WEP128, but most modern routers use uh, WPA Personal or um, AEK T, uh, TKIP, um, so select this one here. That's the one most people are going to want and click next. And here uh, you're going to put in your key. Most of the time you're, you're setting a string. Um, I'll go ahead and look away while I enter that. And there we go. So we'll click next. And that's the file it's going to send to the printer. We're going to click finish. And you will see your uh, printer reset two times. And it's basically reprogramming itself to use that uh, Wi-Fi key and address range. So while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and uh, set up our new uh, wireless port. Um, because we have it set up to, to communicate via USB, now we need to set it up to communicate via uh, wireless network. And this is kind of complicated unless you've done this before. You, this might not be completely obvious. So we're going to select uh, install a new printer. Uh, next, install printer. 
and here you're going to select your GX420D GX looking through the, the camera here there we go GX420D next we're going to go to add new printer don't select update existing printer driver and here's where it's kind of uh, complicated. We're going to click Add Port. Click Next. Right now it's disabling the uh, print spool driver. And you can see here that we are good to go. Signal strength is 100%. And there's our IP address, 192.168.1.240. Um, so if you did set it up for DHCP and the router automatically assigned you address, um, it would show that address here. You could just go into the, the port configuration and change that. But that's kind of a pain in the ass. So I like setting a hard IP address. And that's still working there. Sometimes it takes it a while to disable its uh, print spool driver. All right, here we go. So the port name, you can pretty much make this whatever you want. I like to name it uh, something easy to identify. So we're gonna call it uh, zebra, um, do underscore 420 D. Let's go ahead and do Wi-Fi like that. So that's our port name. And then here we just enter our IP address 192.168.1.240 and leave the port number as 9100 and click OK. And so now we've got it, uh, should be in this list. Yeah, there we go. LAN Zebra 420 Wi-Fi. And we're just going to click Next. And uh, we don't want to go ahead and reinstall the font downloader, and we've already got the status monitor installed, so we'll just click Finish. And there it is, our LAN Zebra 420D Wi-Fi. So now if we come in here, we can uh, go ahead and uh, print a test page. Let's uh, print the configuration label. There it is. That easy. No hesitation at all. It like printed instantly. So uh, we're now set up to print uh, wirelessly. Anytime you go to print, just select the uh, Wi-Fi version of the Zebra. And to show you what that looks like here, go to our control panel, go to devices and printers. And uh, here we go. And it is not in the list there. We need to see which one of these uses that port we set up. Uh, wrong place. Let's go to right click, go on uh, printer, should be properties now. Printer properties. Here we go. Select printer properties, select ports, and there you see our uh, Z Designer 420D. Let's expand this. There we go. LAN Zebra 420D Wi Fi. So we know that this is the one that we want right there. So what we can do is right click on this and it will not let us rename it. I know there's a way to rename it. There we go. We'll call this Zebra. 420D wireless. There we go. And click OK. There we go. Now we see the Zebra 420D wireless. So now when we go to print something, that's the one we're going to select, and it will automatically send it to the Wi Fi printer there. So we are good to go. Um, I hope uh, you found this uh, video helpful. If you did, uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on it and subscribe to the YouTube channel to uh, see more great videos.